Hello everyone, Waddling Duck here with a detailed breakdown of the map for the first week of Diablo 4's new Gauntlet mode. I will show you how many points can be earned in each room, and from each chest, and suggest a path to follow. With this route, I was able to break half a million points with a non-Hoda Barbarian, no Uber Uniques, and several Wasted Legendary Affixes. This is more than double the points needed for the highest reward tier, the Seal of the Worthy. To begin, this week's Gauntlet map looks like this. The Carrots of Swords are the icon for pillars. The zone map only shows pillars that respawn all monsters, while pillars with point multiplier buffs will only show on the map when you are close to them. On my map, I changed the point multiplier icons to green so you can differentiate them. I have also indicated the three monsters that will drop keys for opening chests. Finally, each boss will drop a specific shrine each time they are killed. I went through the entire map and cleared each room one at a time to identify how many points each room is worth, shown here in thousands. I also opened each chest to determine their value, including monsters that spawn after you open the chests. Feel free to craft your own route with this information, but it is hard to ignore this highlighted area which includes 42% of the total value of the map, as well as almost every pillar. My suggestion is to start by looping around to get the two keys in the low value loop, and immediately moving left to the hot zone. Move counterclockwise, take the first low value chest, grab the second point multiplier, and end with the artillery boss. On this first loop, go past the boss to grab the golden chest and hit the respawn pillar. Click every boss shrine as you kill them. You will go counterclockwise through this full loop again, ending in the high value room in the middle. Click the respawn shrine there, and you guessed it, keep going counterclockwise, ending in the unused double pillar room. Click both of these pillars and continue your loop through the first two bosses. Here we change it up and will continue through the slower path to hit the last respawn pillar. Turn around and do your first clockwise loop. After you finish the last boss, head straight for the other side of the map and get those chests. You should have enough keys to grab all of the lower chests. If you have time remaining, go ahead and continue up to kill the boss and grab another chest. If you don't have the power or move speed to finish this full route, you should be able to skip the entire 4th and 5th loops on the left and still have plenty of points to spare to get the seal of the worthy. One quick note to finish this off is that the leaderboards come down to absolutely min-maxing your two clicks of the point multiplier. If you were to 100% clear the map all five times, which is wildly impossible, but not use your point multipliers, you would finish right around 900,000 points, which is not even enough to get a number one spot on the leaderboards on the first day of this game mode. My suggested loop, ending with the chests, will only get you to about 420,000 points without the multipliers. If you can manage a full loop with each multiplier buff, that'll bring you up to about 633,000. To do more than my suggested route, will require uber uniques and exceptionally well min-maxed gear. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped anyone struggling with their gauntlet scores. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe.